Pisces, welcome to July 2016. This is Gwendolyn. Welcome back to the channel, or if it's your first time here, welcome. Uh, this video is going to be a tarot scope for Pisces for July 2016. Let me try that again. That shuffle didn't really work. Um, so I'm just going to shuffle the deck here, and then we'll get right into the reading for July for Pisces. Let's see here. Okay, just feeling a couple more shuffles. Okay, so let's start here. Let's see what's going on for Pisces. Okay, there's a way in which the, the opening of the month for July shows um, star. And there's actually three major arcana cards that are coming up here for the beginning of July. Star, Wheel of Fortune, and Moon. So there are some... The beginning of July may feel pretty intense. Here's another intense card, Tower. So when Star appears in the reverse position, the first thing I want to say is don't lose hope. <laughs> Star is a card that means... Um, in sort of like its summarized version, it means hope. It means a lot of other things as well. But in it's a really a card of self-acceptance. You can see in the card that she's naked. This is in the upright position. It's her finding balance between the emotional world and the grounded world. In other words, she's she's got one foot in the water and one foot on the earth here. So feeling balanced emotionally and grounded. Um, and Star is full of hope. It's realizing your place in the universe and having your own natural radiance because you realize your own self-value just as you are without any other trappings without any other status or ego or title or anything it's just you in the natural world and and sort of communing as part of it um, and having hope and radiance and inner in innate value in the reverse position, it's saying you may be having doubts or fears about your own place in the universe, your own worth, your own radiance. Um, so when, when I see that in the reverse position, I, I just want to remind all my Pisces viewers, don't doubt that. You do have your own place in the world. Don't lose hope. Don't feel like you're... Don't... don't uh, you need to recognize your own value, your own intrinsic... Um, worth and radiance and and be be full of self-acceptance because in the reverse position it may be saying you're having a hard time with self-acceptance you're having a hard time recognizing your value your worth and it might be causing you to lose a little bit of hope realize that the energy of the star is here you do have your own place in the universe you do have your own natural radiance without anything else just as you are and um see if you can access that because in the reverse position it just says this is just being this is a little bit in shadow it's, it's hard to access that right now um, there's also something going on with money that is inheritance that feels difficult or money that you were expecting to receive this is ten of coins and the traditional uh, interpretation of ten of coins is inheritance you can see there's like a happy couple that's behind these flags that have all this money on them and it, it generally represents security. Um, it represents an accumulation of money that happens from good decisions over time, from good investments. That's how the, the Ten of Coins accumulates. And it's usually depicted as the patriarch of the family hand, or the older, the elder of the family handing down that money to this happy couple and it forms security. In the reverse position, it could mean that not as much money is coming in as you thought it was, or that it's some sort of burden. Um, if the inheritance is a burden, or if it's the amount of money that was awarded to you is less than what you thought it was going to be, or you have money but you feel like you don't have security, or that it's it's tough to take care of all of that. Um, it's, it's sort of like an, an unalignment of the natural order. In Ten of Coins in the Rider Waite, the Ten Coins are arranged in a tree of life pattern, which means, you know, things are flowing, things are supported, things are connected. In the reverse position, there's just like a little bit of block there, or it's just, it's hard to access it. So there might be money that you just don't have access to, like it's available, but not until you turn a certain age, or until someone 
uh, signs a certain document. There's there's just something going on with the money that's being handed down or passed on or the money that's being awarded. Uh, it's like not having access to the money that you thought you would or there's some sort of block right now. But this is this is that times change and that whatever this is, you know, this card is kind of a reassurance in seeing star in reverse. Like even if you might be full of doubt right now and having a hard time connecting with hope or your natural radiance or place in the world, this card's saying don't worry, times change. This card is Wheel of Fortune, and in Wheel of Fortune the tables turn. Whoever was on the top is going to be on the bottom. Whoever was on the bottom is going to be on the top. Sometimes this card can even be looked at as like feast or famine because here they're all feasting and celebrating and partying, but then you know as the wheel turns they fall off and there's like nothing down here. So. Whatever, this card just reminds us that the seasons change, the tables turn, life evolves, the tides of time change things, you know, whatever's happening, whatever's happening, the time, time is taking care of it, that, that hand keeps turning that wheel, and whoever's on top is going to be on the bottom, whoever's ever on the bottom is going to be on top, there's a season to everything is what this card reminds us of. And sometimes it also means a changing of luck. So if you've been having good luck, it could turn for the worse. Or if you've been having bad luck, it could turn for the better. It's just things change and seasons change. Um, time time marches on often is what this card means too. So it, your luck may be changing, especially if you're having a hard time accessing hope, Pisces. And this card, Moon... Um, is another major arcana card, so usually when major arcana cards show up, there's some sort of important message, or there's strength in that message. Um, Moon is a card that means uh, testing to see what is true, what's not true, in, and it can be a card of illusion. So it's saying don't fall prey to illusion. Um, the moon is actually light that's reflected from the sun. It doesn't actually come from the moon. So that's where the illusion aspect comes from. It looks like it's coming from the moon, but really it's just a reflection of the sun's light. So it's not actually coming from the moon itself, and it changes over time. So that's where that changeability comes in too. Testing what's real, what's solid, what's changeable, or what's going to be permanent. Um, those are all moon themes. And it's a time of poeticism. It's a time of sometimes fantasy. Um, this, this symbol here, this crab or lobster that's coming up from the waters, represents our subconscious coming up for air, our deep feelings being let out in the gentle light of the moon. And there's a weighing between the um, domestic side, the dog, and the wild side of things, which is the wolf. So it's sort of like a um, airing things out between what is left and what is right, what's logical and rational versus what is creative and artistic, and but perhaps irrational. What is, what's real and what's not real? What's fantasy and what's not fantasy? So in the reverse position, I'm going to say, Pisces, be careful at the beginning of July that you don't fall prey to illusions, to things that are changeable, to things that are not real. Um, test, test the feelings that are coming up for you. Don't, don't believe that something is real with this moon energy. Moon can be very fuzzy. There's a lot of Neptune. It's actually a very Piscean card. I believe it's ruled by Pisces. Um, so see, this is a card about testing. What's true, what's not true. Don't fall, not falling prey to illusion, not falling prey to fantasies, letting letting those deep emotions come up and, and kind of sorting things out. Because you do have a big dramatic change ahead. This is Tower in the reverse position, and this might be change that you're resisting. Um, tower is a sudden dramatic change that shakes up the old order. You can see the lightning bolts are hitting this tower and causing it to crumble. And whatever felt established, uh, immovable, um, permanent, it actually gets changed by tower. And usually it comes out of nowhere. This lightning bolt is not expected. It's not seen. Um, if you're looking for things to be shaken up, though, this is a card that you want to see. You know, if you want dramatic change, this is it. In the reverse position, too, um, tower can say that you're... Re you're resisting change, or that you're afraid of change, you're afraid of the old structure breaking apart, you're afraid of letting go. In other words, it may say that you want to stay in that tower, um, but life is not allowing that, life is changing that, and it may change it in a very sudden and dramatic way. So, and especially Pisces, it might throw you upside down. This is you, 
Queen of Cups. Um, this is a water sign. So this could be Pisces, Scorpio, or, um, or Cancer. But I'm reading it as you here, Pisces, because cups represent water. And it could either be, if you're male, this could be you as the Knight of Cups, or if you're female, this could be the Queen of Cups. But either way, you're represented here right in the middle. This could be throwing you upside down, Pisces. Normally, you are, uh, Queen of Cups is someone who is tender-hearted, loving, psychic, intuitive, compassionate. She's, you know, she's just all about the love aspect and, and a master of her emotions generally, or very in touch with her emotions. But this tower in the middle of the month could throw you upside down. Now this could be a good thing. If you have been stuck in sort of like a rigid, structured, ordered situation and you want to get out of it, this could be just what you need to turn things upside down. That's echoing this, this times are changing. And there could be a young man involved. He's actually, um, he's actually either leading the way or running away. Um, she is looking directly at him, and depending upon who you identify with more, this Queen of Cups or this Knight of Cups, you could be the one running away or you could be running towards someone. But she's got a close eye on him, and she's either pursuing him or she's watching him go. So this, too, could be another um, water sign person, either Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Um, but she's, she's definitely the more mature of the two of them. So this is sort of like an older woman or someone who's, um, if not older, more mature. It could even be mother and son energy, but she's, she's watching him go. That could be the tumult that is happening for you, Pisces, is, you know, this old home where the queen lives and watching the sun go. And it's, it's actually sort of draining her strength, um, your strength is in reverse in the middle of the month, Pisces. You're having some difficulties accessing your ability to be, um, you know, enduring of things or having forbearance. There, this strength represents having patience and endurance. And um, she opens the lion's mouth through soft, coaxing, gentle force. It's not, it's not hard force. She's able to open the lion's mouth because she has the strength to hang in there and not be fearful and have courage. That's, that's when we think of that word in French, cours, heart, and we think of the heart of the lion or having courage. That's what this card is all about. I'm also seeing, too, that it's kind of echoing. This is the same woman here. If you see these trees that are showing up, these palms, it's sort of like finding your own natural place in the world and accepting things as... as accepting things in nature and that things are natural. Here, they're both out of sorts. Here she's she's doubting her own value, but here she's just not connecting with her strength. So if there's something in the middle of the month that changes dramatically, throws you upside down, especially regarding a younger man, try to have forbearance and endurance. It's There is going to be an end coming at the end of the month of July. There is going to be something that ends the cycle. Um, and this could be a good thing in terms of if you're looking to shake things up, there could be a young man involved that, that you end up, um, engaging with in the middle of the month. Um, or if you're this Pisces, if this is you, there could be a way in which, you know, the mother who was at, in the tower ends up being turned upside down. There's, there's a couple of different ways that this could go. But this is definitely water sign. You're, you're involved in this Pisces in, in one way or another. You're either the knight or the queen. Um, and there is some dramatic change that you may not see coming. And it may be change that you're resisting. Um, at the end of the month, things are going to go very quickly. This is all fire energy. So this is eight of, eight of wands. And eight of wands means things lining up. Things lining up quickly, 80 to 90% lined up, new news, new information coming to you. Um, in the reverse position, it could be bad news, or it could be news that you didn't expect, or it could be, it could be a delay of things, that things are happening quickly, but not quite quickly enough for you. Uh, that could signal this card, or there's some sort of thing about time where you don't have enough time Things are happening rapidly and you can't keep up with it or something. And this is quarreling. Um, five, of, five of wands means either co competition. It can either go two ways. It could be playing or fighting. It has a lot of Mars energy. 
So this could be like people competing over something, or it can be aggression. Um, it could also be just playfulness. But in the reverse position, I'm seeing, like, don't let the little problems get to you. Don't let the little nitpicky, um, you know, petty annoyances of life get to you. That's that's in reverse, too. So what I'm seeing here at the end of the month is this is like fire. I'm kind of getting, like, little sparks from all this stuff. It's information. It's all the details and everything that you're going to need to work out. And there's some, like, fighting or playing going on. It's just, it seems like petty annoyances and that there's something to do with time that you can't keep up with it. But you will, at the very end of the month, it's funny, you have an ace and then you have death. So the aces are new energy. This is like a new spring, renewed energy, new vigor, new um, life, new vitality. Ace of wands means beginning again, being out front. It's got the same energy as a baton twirler in front of a parade, or as the same as a runner who's got the baton and they're running with it. They're the active element. So this is, you're going to have an, a new renewal, a new release on life, new energy, sort of like a new fresh spirit towards the end of July when you get out of all of this petty stuff, when you kind of regain your strength, there's a freshness that comes. But there's also going to be an end that you may be resisting. And death doesn't necessarily have to be a literal death. It could be a figur figurative death. Um, you see that in this card, death is cutting this rose. So it's definitely the end of a cycle. Sometimes it can even, with this white rose, it's like the end of innocence. Or the end of, of being naive. Um, but because it's in the reverse position, it's saying that there's an, going to be an ending that you may be resisting or you may be fearful or doubtful about it. You, you need to allow that death to happen or that closing out of the cycle. We can't try to force a flower to be alive forever. It has to bloom, the petals fall off, and then the seeds from the plant create a new one. That's the cycle of life and death. And death is an important part of that. Death and life are intertwined. So if there is, towards the end of the month, a sense of needing to let go of something, it might be sorrowful. You might have this longing to hold on to it forever. You're, you might have to release that and accept this new ace. It's going to provide you with lots of fresh, invigorating energy anyway. So if you can get through all this, um, you know, the dramatic change that happens mid-month, See if you can access some of your strength. It might be tough to, to push through that and like any of this petty annoyances or timelines kind of uh, feeling charged. There's some nice reward. If you let go, there's some great saying that says, you know, if, if you're brave enough to let go, life will reward you with a new beginning. That's what ace and death together are. I mean, they're, they come as a pair here. If you, if you allow this to happen, if you let go of your resistance, fear, or doubt about, about saying goodbye to this chapter, there's this new fresh chapter that's really invigorating. It's like a new fresh spring for you, Pisces. So that is my reading for you for July. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to give it a like, a share, or a subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I just want to thank everyone for watching. Yours and the stars.